In making his first public speech to the nation, the new King Charles III paid a very elegant tribute to his first wife, Princess Diana, read also. Long live the new king. How the first and most legendary exit of Charles III and Queen Camilla took place. After the death of Elizabeth II, the new British monarch gave his first official speech on British television. Above all, of course, Charles III paid tribute to the deceased queen. Emotionally demonstrating his affection for his dear mother, the king quoted a passage from Hamlet. May the angel sing thee to thy repose. TV host Don Neeson later noted that this quote was also heard at Princess Diana's funeral and therefore could now also be a tribute to Charles III's first wife. This phrase from Hamlet was also read at Diana's funeral. So I wonder if the fact that he chose that particular phrase was a subtle reference in tribute to his late wife, Neeson speculated on Sky News. It's also worth noting that in his first speech, the new monarch confirmed that Diana's former title, Princess of Wales, now goes to the heir to the throne Prince William's wife Duchess Catherine. And William, in turn, has become Prince of Wales. Today I am proud to have made him William Prince of Wales. I have had the great honor of carrying this title throughout my life. Together with Catherine, they are our new prince and princess of Wales, who I know will continue to inspire the nation, the monarch said. The Welsh couple later expressed their gratitude to the king, and Catherine noted that she appreciates the history her new title is associated with. As a reminder, Kate became the first to openly use the title of Princess of Wales since Diana's death in 1997. Before Charles ascended the throne, the title was held nominally by his second wife, Duchess Camilla, but she preferred not to use it out of respect for Diana. Thank you for watching this video. Please support me by liking and subscribing to the channel.